So this is a jar of uh, carbon nanotubes. And uh, for the past uh, 20 years, our lab and uh, many other labs around the world have worked on how do you go from uh, this jar that has unstructured nanotubes to something like this, where the nanotubes are laid into continuous fibers and they can be used uh, into applications for electrical conduction, for strength, for thermal conduction, uh, for all intents and purposes. This is a microscopic fiber. It's made of nanotubes, but it's microscopic. Depending on the nanotubes we use, we get different fibers. So the properties of this fiber over here are not the same as the property of this fiber over here. And it turns out that the, the process for uh, um, connecting the properties of uh, these nanotubes to this fiber, it's laborious. It can take a month and it takes a large amount of material. So the question we're trying to answer is uh, which nanotubes make the best fibers? When we try to develop the highest quality or highest performing carbon nanotube fibers, um, we want to be able to experiment with the materials that we get from man manufacturers very quickly and sometimes we only receive a small quantity of materials. So this process, the purpose of it is to sort of downscale so we can use smaller quantities of materials from carbon nanotube manufacturers and then speed things up so we can evaluate the properties in a carbon nanotube fiber that we produce uh, much more rapidly so that we can characterize what the optimal uh, performance will be for any given material. Where are we? Well, it's a matter of properties and it's a matter of cost, which is a great place to be. For properties now, we're within striking distance of uh, metals. In fact, if you take the electrical conductivity of uh, these fibers, you divide it by the density, you have to remember these are very low density materials, they're made of carbon. Um, you have essentially the same properties as copper on a pound per pound or kilo per kilo basis. Uh, yeah, to put it in perspective, uh, we're still talking about uh, uh, over an order of magnitude higher costs than uh, high performance carbon fiber, which are still considered uh, uh, specialty premium material. So there's more work to do, but the field is still young. We're only about 25 year old uh, as a material field and progress uh, continues to be very strong.